I have grandchildren and what I'm teaching them is that you need to know your history to understand your future because history repeats itself over and over and over again. If, if we keep allowing the erasure of our culture and our community, there will be no history to teach. From Brunelis, Georgia, in Memphis, Tennessee, to Venice, California. And we've been here since. There's a reason why people are being locked up on the borders and why people, it's majority of black and brown people are being displaced. There's a history to that. Drug laws that they brought the cocaine Redline. into the community. The, the redlining was always here, and then the gang injunctions to help clear, to help clear out the community so that they could move people in, and then the targeting of the housing situation. And then So there you go. So now here we are. Church was established 45 years after slavery was abolished, and this is a time of when restrictive covenants in the housing KKK still highly prevalent, and for a strong, resilient black relatives to come and establish these grounds and, and this church is nothing less than the historical and, and remarkable accomplishment. That's where the city of Los Angeles started to recognize Bishop E.L. Holmes and this parcel of land both here and across the street as a, a historical monument. We would like to ask the Penske family to help us to preserve this great and wonderful historical monument. All right, you're fine. Take a breath. Yeah, we're asking them to really think, think with their heart and their mind about what they're doing here to this, this space.